we are blessed we want to to bless your name to the name of the lord together with you i know you are not struggling with faith faith is clear in your heart and your mind you know sometimes uh people believe in god but they are not really clear about him and the bible says in hebrews 11 verse 6 he who comes to god must believe that he is there and he is a rewarder to those people who diligently seek him those who know definitely god will be found he can't be silent indefinitely that's his power from bishop Gatimo. we are reaching out to from apostolic faith church bahati nairobi and we thank god that you have subscribed to our youtube the lord cover you god bless so much uh we still that the topic is prayer in warfare and now in the lesson number five lesson number five now when you pray and lead a pray and prayer becomes the real weapon and the source of opening and strength you give chance to the gift of, to the gift of the holy spirit and to the holy spirit himself and let me say something it is the spirit of god who works to glorify christ in warfare let me pray again it's the spirit of the living god who works to glorify christ in warfare no one is a warrior there's no way christ you present a personality christ the, the, the holy spirit will use me to glorify jesus because the power we have has been given to us it's jesus who overcame satan it's christ who overcame death it's christ who overcame hades it is christ who overcame curses and then he gave us his name he gave us his blood he gave us his promise and therefore when i start in the crusade and i rebuke demons and i destroy powers of darkness i'm using already established acquired power and authority by jesus and therefore there's no way i will you in my name i will heal as a servant of christ who rose from the dead and therefore one thing that you notice is that whenever you pray and pray sometimes you have chance to be alone with god i tell you you get open your heart is loose your mind is clear and the holy spirit has a chance to minister and if you have a gift gift of healing gift of prophecy it will have a clear way to operate let me say this have you ever noticed when you pray and fast and really pray if you have a gift in you it gets a clear way to operate it's get a clear way and 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 something else is that when gifts are operating most of us and most majority you don't have so many words gifts itself you don't speak a lot give just operate and christ is seen you it's as if you get straight to area where jesus himself can be glorified another thing is when you pray in warfare there's a clear way to see god clear way to see god prayer cleanses clears fight removes subdue until the only thing remaining in before me and in me is god it's clear way you see god clearly mm -hmm. another thing is you regain or you gain a position in heaven race in heaven race the bible talks about heaven race now when you look at me use me physically but any preacher is physical but there is what we call a position in the heaven race whereby i can preach now but the, i i exercise an authority in heavenly places the bible says in ephesians chapter one ephesians chapter one ephesians chapter one let's go there that is verse two 
Ephesians chapter 1 verse 2 Let's see the scriptures uh -huh. I hope you are able to go with me to that scripture Ephesians 1 That is chapter 1 verse 2 Grace to you and peace from God our Father the Lord Jesus Christ blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places according to the status Christ has acquired for us in the heavenly places is that we are able we are able we are able to draw a possession from the heavenly places and bring it to the physical in the heavenly places where christ is seated at the right hand of god the father oh we are already blessed with every blessing it is in the spiritual form but in this life we can make it physical i'm casting out demon and i'm a human being the position i have is not the one that i own I, that is we we in ordinary level have i'm able to believe god you know I, I, let me say this there are some people who, when you pray and pray and pray i know when i prayed there's a time i prayed and the church was quite poor and things are not good and when i prayed i saw the position of the church in heaven race and god showed me a lot of riches and glorious riches and i said to the brethren god that we serve has made us millionaires how according to what i saw in heaven race we are already millionaires according to what i've seen in heaven race we are blessed let me say something prophecy comes from a position in heaven race today i can come to you and say now my sister you are balanced but god says you are going to give birth to three children that the way you are is the reality in the world but i cannot draw a position from heaven race and say according to jesus and where he is seated you are blessed i don't know there's a sister who lost four children mysteriously whenever she would just give birth to a child within an hour the child dies i said bishop i want to talk to god for about 28 days she went to 28 days prayer and fasting you know what happened when she was praying a revelation came and she saw a mighty glorious heart emerging from heavenly places holding two children and girl and a boy and a voice said these ones belong to you they have always existed in heaven race but now i transfer them to you actually she said to me the voice said they are now transferred to you they have been there in heaven race but they are now transferred to you the doctors had said she will never give birth and he tried to, uh, to conceive again because of the nature of her body and the operations that have they had, he had, she had, had gone she would die but god says as well as the heart of god pushed the children these ones have always been there now they shift them in the heavenly places we are already blessed on earth we have social status there are those who live in the slums there are those who are um rejected there are those who are middle class whatever position the world gives you but in heavenly places we don't have social status what we have is all who are in christ they are blessed in heavenly places and that's why in the church we need to translate people from the status 
that have been allocated by the social life of this world and tell them you are blessed with everything in heavenly places and we want to draw the might of god from there the plan of god from there and release it on you so that heaven can rule the earth the spiritual can rule the physical the infinite can rule the the the, the immortal can rule the mortal and now the word of god will feel as it is in the lord's prayer our father who is not on earth but in heaven how to be your name thy kingdom come in other words from heavenly places where we are blessed with all things let that kingdom come i'm saying the church we are not supposed to receive poor people rejected people oppressed people and and comfort them in the church motivate them the church and keep them just that way we are supposed to pray let the kingdom come in the church in the crusades in our preaching we are supposed to draw the kingdom and bring it now when you pray deeply and you are so open to god and you are you are you are flexible god you are open to god to make you what he wants is it god will give you what we call uh you will gain or gain a position in the heaven race and that's why the bible says in the same uh, first chapter 2 verse 1 to 6 uh, if you go through that chapter 2 it says that, that is chapter 2 i uh, have verse 1 and you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins we were dead and we he made alive let me say this if this word is is complete this kind of being made alive should be seen socially physically and spiritually i cannot be made alive after being dead in sins and trespasses and and it's not evident in my performance spiritually socially mentally and in other areas and the bible says we walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of this is interesting when people walk according to the course of this world whatever the world offers whatever the new world order and procedures offers you just flow with them according to the prince of the power of the air but the bible says uh we are not under those powers the bible says verse 4 chapter 2 Ephesians 2 verse 4 but god who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in sin he made us alive together with christ if you continue he it says he quickened us if you pray deeply you have an experience we call quickening quickening is it, it is turning a potential it's like, like that's what we talk about potential energy to kinetic energy is taking you from immobility to mobility you've lived in one house for 20 years when you're quickened you start moving you start changing you start having a, a mind that is that is connected bible say we are quickened with christ when he rose from the dead that power that raised christ from the dead it, it's operating this manner it quickens our minds you find this girl who is not performing in school this man who is always there no revelation no idea no insight no creativity but when you're quickened you become creative there's life in you and the bible says we are raised with him you are quickened not just to be alive and be there you are raised with christ and that position bible says and we are seated with him these are three positions we acquire when prayer in warfare works you get quickened you get raised you get seated with him in all quickened with christ raised with christ seated with christ brothers and sisters we need the three church 
from the dead church from this from from oppression church from being um immobile not functioning not discovering you know there are people who stay you have the mind you have the all the body organs but you're not productive you are not operational it's as if you are just a living being without gifts when you are quick and gifts operate your potential start being released in a specific direction of achievement and blessing quickened with christ raised with christ and seated with christ that's very very important another thing what uh that the the, the that prayer in the ministry prayer in warfare will produce is a standard of life a standard of ministry and a standard of habit a prayerful person you can't be prayerful and lack a proper standard and i'm i'm talking about standard of ministry when somebody looks at you they know and this person has been with christ this person has spent time with jesus the way he's preaching the way he's healing the sick the way he is subduing the enemy, oh, the way he is forgiving, the way he is persevering. You know, you know, you can't just have a standard of life and a standard of ministry, and you fail to have a standard of habit. Do you know prayerful people? They forgive Israel. They don't. They don't get and tag God easily. You can't stab them easily. There's there's a heart an impartation of godly life in them and therefore we are saying if you are prayerful enough in warfare you produce a standard of life a standard of ministry it's be elevated and a standard of habit another thing that will happen when you when you prayer in warfare is sharpness of weapons you know the bible talks about weapons of warfare some are offensive some are defensive if you go through Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 18 verse 10 talks about uh, uh, uh take up put on the armor of god that you may be able to stand against the wars of the devil we wrestle not against the face of blood but against powers of darkness talks about that another weapons there the armor of the lord uh-huh truth righteousness uh -huh. preparation you are ever ready for the gospel shield of faith uh -huh. that is very important salvation the word of god and the sword of spirit and also praying in the spirit these are uh, 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 this is a complete armor while some weapons are to defend you and others you use them to attack and to fight and the bible one thing that you notice when you pray in warfare these weapons become sharp righteousness become very sharp the truth becomes very sharp yes praying in the spirit becomes very sharp salvation becomes very clear weapons of warfare becomes very sharp very articulate and very good it's important to know that weapons become effective when you pray in warfare another thing that will happen when you pray very well in warfare is hearing the voice of god it's very easy when somebody is praying well in warfare the communication between our headquarter and our battle is clear that's why if you read uh, second kings chapter 6 whenever the king of syria would plan to ambush to destroy israel oh the man of god elisha would get revelation that is hearing the voice of god in warfare you win battle so easily when you can hear god in warfare that's when second second chronicles chapter 20 the battle ended when god said now the battle belongs to me and god's method worked when joshua crossed over to take the canaan lord 
the first station was Jericho. God said, Joshua, let me show you my method. And Joshua won easily. When there is clear communication through hearing the voice of God, and you win battle so easily. Another thing is concentration. Mm -hmm. Concentration. You are able to concentrate, to articulate, and to be very sharp. You are able to aim well. You are able to fight with the proper focus. You are able, your mind is not entangled. You clear, you remove heaviness. You remove confusion. And your mind is clear for battle. That is very important. When you pray deeply in warfare, you are able to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. To sacrifice. Uh -huh. You are able to offer yourself to the level of sacrifice. You know, when you pray, you change. You change from selfishness. You change from being self-centered to being Christ-centered. You change from being uh, self-preoccupied to God's purpose. And that, it, we call them the level of sacrifice. Because warfare requires sacrifice. So when you pray deeply, you are able to offer yourself as a sacrifice. Uh, that is very, very important. Sacrifice your body, yourself, time, and whatever. Uh -huh. Another thing, when you pray deeply, you are able to give attention to God. God has always sought for attention of his people. He has a lot of power. He has a lot of wisdom to supply. He is omniscient, omnipotent, immutable, righteous, ever living God. He wants now to release a lot of things. And God cannot just speak when you're not attentive. You know, we are very busy. We move like molecules. Molecules. Very busy, very busy. But when you stop to pray, God, you notice, my servant is now attentive to hear me. And God, you start unveiling things that you have never thought. That's very important. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, another thing, there is, there is what we call, what, what uh, John the Baptist said, I be pleased that he may increase. You see that in the book of John. We may not go back to, to that. And whereby the more you pray, the more God increases and the more he covers you and the more he occupy more and more and demons and powers of darkness you realize majority of your life or things that entails or involves you are already occupied by god i have decreased he has increased when the devil comes again you fight oh this man is not the that that insignificant brother that I've thought about God has increased in his life other thing is when you pray deeply you are able to deal with the three things that the devil uses to attack us one fear secondly deception and the third part is confusion you are able to deal with the three things Satan is not using force now or throwing stones. He is using some psych things like fear, deception, confusion, just to destroy the sins. That's what the Bible says. Actually, when you check Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, it says, uh, put on the armor that you may be able to stand against the whales. Whales means the tricks, the strategies. But when you go to verse 13, it says, take up the weapons that you may fight. There's fighting element and there's this issue of overcoming now Satan in the level of his tricks. The devil used a high standard of tricks in level of fear, deception, confusion. When you play deeply in warfare, you are able to raise ministry and the standard of God above your personality. Do you know more, majority of the ministries are within people's personality? You go to Mr. Ben ministry, you fight Ben. 
When you go to Mr. Timothy, ministry, you fight Timothy. Personality. Yes. People talk about, oh, you know that bishop? Yes. Oh, that bishop is brutal. You know that, that sister? Yes. Oh, that sister oh, is loose. You know, you are able to raise ministry beyond your personality to the standard of God. So that people will, and that's when you pray, the church will grow and grow and grow, grow, there will be no limitation of your personality and your weakness. I, I, I know, I know, you go to some places, and people fear the bishop so much. They say, that man, I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't. And then, you know, people fear to come closer. You know, your personality has a, an issue. You are good, but but it, you raise the ministry beyond your limitation, your weaknesses, your uh, level of weakness, and you raise ministry to the standard of God, and people say that's a servant of God. We can see God through that man. We can see God's favor. We can see God's gift. I've been looking for this, for the love of God. I see it in him. I've been looking for my miracle. Our is coming. I've been looking for the praises of God. I see the praise of God. And that's why every worker in the church, if they pray deeply, the church can grow. Because one of the key limitations is that there are ushers, there are praise team, choirs, and all these people, people operating in their own personality. And somebody, somebody said, no, I don't like that brother. I don't like that sister. No, it's okay. We are unique. But the gospel cannot be based purely on our personal thing. It, uh, that's very important. That's very, very important. We raise and God will help us much. We still have one, uh, one lesson to cover. And I would like us to continue cleaving and clinging on until we unveil in a very deep way the secrets of prayer and how it helps pastors, bishops, leaders, families in warfare. We are in a season of warfare. We need to understand this. Prayer is the key thing. May God cover you. God heal you. And God trigger a thirst and a desire for prayer in you. In Christ, I bless you. Thank you.